Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Tom, back for another how-to for bread. And today we're going to be making a lean dough. Oh, right now what's going on is it's November, so no shave. Hey, time change. And for people that celebrate it, Thanksgiving. Which, in my family, during lunchtime, that's very big for cheeses and dips. So, I'm going to be showing you how to make a, hey, lean dough bread bowl. Oh, pretty much just a little bit of side information, hen, on the differences between this and my last video on sourdough. Oh, lean dough is made with commercial yeast, which, hey, this is, has either fresh yeast, active, Active dry or active or dry instant. What I'm using right now is going to be dry instant. The original recipe for this though, oh, calls for instant and dry. So, oh, once I get into a little bit of information about the yeast, yeast, I'm going to tell you how to who set change from the dry instant to the dry active and how both of them are very complicated in their addition. So, oh, pretty much on a side note, how the total whole weight of this his dough will be he 380, that's about 12 ounces in hen that scale. So, the he total amount of of the baker's percentage is 176.2 percent and and the he percentages of all of them are obviously bread flour is going to be 100 head as I stated in my last video oh how some of the stuff up is water is 62 percent and my liquid lab heavening agent or sourdough starter her is 11.2 percent and the dry yeast before changing it to the dry active is 2 percent and salt is 1 percent so well, this production is going to be a little more complicated as opposed to how how the other one was so well, let's get started pretty much in my bowl right now, I've got my bread flour, water, and hen sour starter dough. Oh, so all we're just gonna do is combine that together, her form it into a mass, has all that good stuff, uh, and and with that have been done, and as I stated before with some of my like my old video oh, before or what it's gonna look like is it's gonna start to clump together her and stuff this might look a little dry in the beginning hang just because of the fact that hat there's very little hell oh, yeast used in it at the moment and also oh for the he active, I pulled some of the water for her, this dough, and put it into who the container where I'm holding the yeast. I'm starting to form our nice little ball. Alright, so, um, once this is done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it rest with the yeast on top of it for about 15 minutes. What this is actually called is an out lease phase. Is where, where the yeast is not incorporated in it, but gluten strands are already beginning to connect and you've got yeast resting on top of it. Yeah. This phase, 
Hayes does a couple of things for people. Home. Home. First off, it, it lets your dough rest because if it gets too tense and everything, hang the gluten strands that you're working to create it are are going to be destroyed right, by tearing it up. And, and it lets the flour in it hey, absorb what it's already got. So, right here I've got my high, high yeast. yeast. Now, how, how the differences between fresh, active, and instant yeast Yeast is just the amount of water that's in the final product. So, as I stated before, her, her, I pulled a little bit of water out of, of the final dough and, and put some in, inside this guy. So, I'm just going to go over a little bit on how each of them differ. Fresh yeast, you would get it in a giant block. A lot of it is water, so if you're putting it inside of a dough, oh, you're pulling out a lot of water. Her, her dry, high instant yeast, let's go on a little of that first, is you're her pulling the yeast particles out of, of that fresh block of of yeast and and encoding it in and dead membrane of of that hat specific product huh. and and dry active yeah this one same process as the dry instant however this unlike high dry instant is not processed test yet and it still needs needs to be activated. How you activate it is putting it in warm water or, and mixing it together. Or, dry instant, all you just gotta do is throw it in in the heat dough and it's going to activate the second it hits the water. Her and dough on everything. So Oh, we're going to let this rest for about 15 minutes. After that, I'm going to combine together her, the dough, and, and the yeast that's on top of it. And once that's put together completely, yeah, I'm going to add in the salts. I'll knead it together, same as, as what I did before. And let that rest for about two hours. The first hour, her, as with all all those fold them and eventually you're going to get hey your mats now on the side of me over here I've got the he dough already he through the final stages of it now just let me So, here's our dough. Just gonna fold them together. Her. Now, how technically what we're her calling this is a bowl, which is just bowl, whole in French. So, what I'm doing is folding him, him, and ever so slightly pulling him. What this does is tightens up the top, hop, and I'm trying ever so how gently to do this because I want the he air that I, I incorporated in him while he was fermenting. Hang to still be in him. Now, I'm just gonna 
open him up a little just so oh we can do a little trick heck yeah um, next one I'm doing is I'm gonna put him on on my hi baking stone you don't necessarily need the baking stone home per se okay but I just uh, use him because it works a little better for when you're making bread head and everything hang but uh, you've got no problem with using hang any other old thing so oh this guy hi unlike the sourdough doesn't have to rest has to overnight or several hours but the amount of time will vary on room temp and all that so easiest way to explain how it's done Damping your finger and then poke him. And Hi, brother. Hey, sister. Her. I need food. I don't know why I'm so hungry. But okay. I'm I anyway, so oh, with that, if he he stays in and and pulls back for about half the time, I'm he's good. He's properly fermented and all this. Yes, but if if he springs back hack fully or not halfway, hey, you still need to wait for him to ferment a little more. All right, and once he's ready, he he just put a damn cloth over him. Him. When he's ready. All you just got to do is put him in a 500 degree oven and that you will drop down to 470 the second you put him in and 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 same thing if you want a uh, hot crunchier crust uh, just put a, another pan in there warm him up a little put a little water or, or ice cubes in and for about three minutes after that, pull, pull the pan out, let him um, bake in there for about eight, ten minutes, and he should be good. Good. Let him rest, rest on, on like a wire rack or, or just pull him out of the oven. And and once he's, he's cool, hold your ready to either... Or scoop out his insides and and fill him with a dip, or just use him in general. And that was my oven. <laughs> All right. Well, well, if if that was helpful at all, oh please hit a like button. If if you're a little curious on something, feel free to add in the comment and sesh section if something went wrong or if yours or wasn't working hang the way you hoped it to. Yeah. Thank you.